we go again take number two since the original take got messed up um, basically I pretty much laid out my thoughts on being laid off from TSA twice and uh, just just a warning if you're trying to get a job as a black male and make me might be might be wanting to skip out on TSA I'm not going to say that they're racist, but they're definitely uh, not concerned with young blacks having a job and, you know, being part of the workforce and like, they don't give a shit, you know, stone cold, don't give a shit. Um, and the thing that strikes me is that if I actually did something to, to, to warrant this stuff, it would have made more sense, but I didn't do anything. And, you know, they don't need me is a thing. And, of course, the thing that now now me being not there means that that uh, the other guys working there are going to get paid more, going to have more hours, potentially. They can start boosting their own paychecks. So there's a lot of politics going on over there. Somebody somewhere wanted me out because the more people they have up there working means that somebody's getting paid less and can't sign up for those extra hours. And if I get certified, if I get my, my badge, I can potentially start taking away hours that they would want to have. And so there's a close-knit little, little group up there that probably lobbied for my dismissal and... Uh, it's pretty dark of them, and I think that they 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 planned this whole damn thing. They they wanted this to go down, and um, there you go. Just don't get a job there. Find a better spot. Um, I don't know. I want to leave. I want to go back home. I want to start figuring out what to do from there, and, and go get a different job. Something more my speed, maybe in the technological field. I'd love to work at a computer store or Best Buy or something like that. I've been trying to get a best the job at Best Buy for the longest while. I could never get in. Uh, you know, I'm only human, and uh, yeah, when you when you just straight fire a person, it's gonna suck. And here it is, it sucks. And uh, didn't deserve it. And uh, I don't know what to think about it. You know, you do the right thing. You get off your ass every day and you work hard and you be a good person. You strive to do the right thing. And uh, it doesn't matter. You get blasted in the face and shitted on nonetheless. So go out and steal. Go out and murder, you know, go out and just, just take whatever you want. It matters not to do the right thing. It matters not to be a good person. It just doesn't matter. That's the lesson that I freaking learned today. I could have done something to jeopardize the uh, security that they're doing over there. I could have stolen things. I could have been, you know, harmful to people. I could have insulted children. I could have done a lot of bad things, and yet I abstained, or refrained, and I just robotically got the job done. The reason, you know, they ask me all the time, why am I so not engaging and assertive? Because you be assertive in the wrong way, and then it's a, it's gonna be a they're gonna blow things up. You know, you be yourself and you be playful and make sexual jokes or something around the wrong person. It's not that we don't work at goddamn. I don't know where you can work that that you can be kind of lewd and crass, but this isn't that job. You have to be a little bit more, you know, tactful in what you say and keep your mouth shut half the time, so that you don't start talking out your ass in front of a bunch of people. 
and offending the shit out of them. So it's just me from my experience working at this job for a very, very long time. I've been doing the TSA tip for a long time. I'm not fresh out of the box. I know that if you piss people off with what you say and you're, you're in the spotlight, you're on camera, there's a lot of things that you do that if you want to do them and you just want to be yourself and be silly, it's not going to work out. Do I care? Not really. I mean, my intentions in life don't revolve around fucking security at the airport. You know, it's just that it's stupid. You know what I mean? It's just a job. It's just a way of giving yourself something to 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 have to support yourself and potentially get laid. And it's not that big a deal. But it's just ass. You get you know you're trying to get your life in order, and you get you get asked on by a bunch of knuckleheads who's think they know what they're doing and it's like I can understand if you're in probation period T is saying you don't show up for work on time. That's his that's grounds for firing. There's shit like you just mess up constantly on the job, you suck, grounds for firing, you stole something from somebody's luggage. You're an asshole at work and nobody likes you. Grounds for firing. I got along with my co-workers. I made the passengers laugh. I did funny things for the kids to laugh at. I was generally freaking 90% of the time the best pristine worker they had there. And all of it meant nothing. So that's really just freaking degrading as hell and, uh, and offensive that none of it matter you know hello yep There's no such clause at this place. It says that they'll sue you and then they're going to make you pay for it, a lawyer. Yeah. Yep. They're giving. They're gonna give me a deal where if I pay like two months rent and, and pay for the advertisements they gotta put out for the apartment, then they'll just break everything off, and I can leave. Yeah. No, that's the thing that's really striking. They could have like at least admitted that they were gonna do it instead. They called me in and said, just going to talk to you real quick before you start work. That's the terms they used. And then they said, okay, you're fired. So 
they, they baited and switched me. They very heinously they did. So I'm, they, they said there's no grounds for appeal. They made that very clear. I can't, I can't fight it. So I'm just going to... It doesn't matter. This is TSA. They'll make something up. It, it really doesn't matter. They're very... I learned my lesson. I'm not getting a job with them again. It's just, what can I do? They don't care. Uh, hmm? No. This is, this is what they do. They do whatever they want, and then...